to jump into the second tool now. So, the second tool I said was called sentence diagramming. So this one's gonna require even more participation. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take, um, maybe when Drew can switch to the version that has all the repeated, all the highlighted words. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna give a demonstration of what I mean by sentence diagramming where we're gonna highlight the prepositions. Everybody have your little cheat sheet for prepositions? Good, okay. Um, Okay, so as we do this, I will, I'll take the introduction and I'll show you how this sentence diagramming work. And then from verse three, so from blessed, you guys are gonna do this, okay? All right, I'm excited. So I'll show you how this works. So literally, I'm reading this. I'm saying Paul, an apostle of, of is a preposition, so I'm gonna hit enter when I see of in front of it. Jesus Christ, through, through is a preposition. Remember, anything you can do to a cloud. I'm gonna hit enter there. The will of, of God, so of, again, I'm gonna hit enter there. To, again, to the saints, so to, I'm gonna hit enter in that part as well. Who are at, at is a preposition, hit enter there as well. And the faithful, oh, the other thing I do apart from prepositions I should mention is anytime there's a comma, an apostrophe, or no, a comma, a full stop, a colon, and remember, it's a giant sentence, so the, the, the English translation of the Bible did as much as they could with a comma and a period and a dot. So anytime they do that, we also push that on a new line. So when we see F, um, Ephesus, so after the Ephesus, we see a comma, so we push and to a new line. And then we continue, we see in, in is the next proposition, and the faithful in, so hit in, we push to a new line. So I hope you guys are getting this. It's not complicated, right? And you have your cheat sheet. Um, so Christ Jesus is a colon, so we hit enter there as well. And then we have, yeah, in front of grace, yep. So we enter, and then the next one is going to be, grace is just one word, so we'll skip the two here. We'll do the next one, will be from. We'll do from God. So from, there we go. And then I think that's the last preposition. Okay, so let's go back, let's scroll up to, the, to this intro and see the whole thing. Now what we've done is, all we've done is separated by prepositions. Now I wanted to group it so we know which preposition is related to what. So the first one is, it starts off with Paul, an apostle. So let me ask everybody, when it says of Jesus Christ, is that a, I'm gonna put it in simple text, is that something new that's being shared, or is it a continuation of what was originally shared? Continuation. continuation. So since it's a continuation, and it actually references the fact that, like, what's he an apostle of? Who is he an apostle of? Well, he's an apostle of Jesus Christ. So we'll actually press a tab, and we'll move of so it's under apostle. So this is what I mean by we're going to group words based on what they're referencing. Now, the next part says, through the will and then it's, it's through the will. That's also a continuation. So we also hit tab. So it's under a continuation of apostle. And the last one is of God. So that one we also put a tab because these three parts, so of Jesus Christ, through uh, the will, and of God are all essentially a subclause. They're all related to the fact that it's about an apostle. Next part is to the saints. Is that something new that's being presented or is it a continuation of him being an apostle. So it's a continuation, but he's saying something new this time. So he's already said, I'm an apostle, and this is why I'm an apostle. Now he's saying, now I'm saying, as, so as an apostle of who I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, now I am saying something to you. So it's something new. So I'll separate that as a new clause now. So to the saints. And now he says, to the saints who are at Ephesus. Is Ephesus a continuation of to the saints? Is it related to that or is it separate? It's related to, yes. So now we hit tab, we push that under uh, the saints. And then he goes on to say, and the faithful in Jesus Christ. Are those something new he's saying or is that saying that's a, a related clause, if you will, to, to the saints? Is Related? Yes. So we hit tab for those two as well. Then the last part of this intro says, Grace to you. So let me ask. Is the grace to you related to Jesus? Is he saying grace to Jesus? No. The grace to you is related to who? The saints. The saints. So then now we have to put that at the same level as of, to the saints. So we keep that there. And then the last part is from 
Um, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, from the Lord Jesus Christ, is that something new he's saying? Or is that a continuation of, or is that related to the peace and the grace? The way the peace and grace. So then we, again, we hit tab and we put that under. So this is an example now. If I read this now, I can just say, it's Paul. He's talking to the saints. He's giving them grace. Very simple. That's the core of what he's doing. And then this just supports how or why he's doing it. Hopefully that's, that people can, can follow that. If that's okay, you guys are going to do this now, and I'm just going to keep quiet. So um, let's try doing this for, for blessed be the, the, the God and Father. And as we do this, we'll try to do both at the same time, the preposition, and then after the preposition, we'll, we'll say, is this what they call a subordinated clause? I know it sounds complicated. Is it related to the previous text, or is it something new that he's saying? All right. So let's start. Who wants to say where the first enter should be? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Where should we hit the enter? Of. Of. Okay, so let's do that. And then of our Lord Jesus Christ, there's a comma, so we'll hit that um, before the who. Hit enter again. Now let's go back to of our Lord Jesus Christ. That of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, what is it in reference to? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God and, God and Father. God and Father, yes. So then that means the of, we have to push the under God or under Father, either, either one of those two. Great. So now the next part then says, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing? So where, where's the next... Um, preposition with okay so let's hit enter with with now let me ask where it says who has blessed us who is the who that's being referenced ah, interesting is it Jesus or is it God ah see we have different views God and Father, okay, we have, we have like three or four saying God and Father. Okay, everybody seems to be saying God and Father. So now it's interesting. So we wouldn't push that all the way under Jesus. Now I'll push that so it's, um, it's under God. So we can, we can push the, sorry, the who has blessed us. We push that under God. All right. Now the next is with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. So where's the next preposition? In, okay. And then let me ask, as uh, when Jura does in, the other in, there's another in, um, with every spiritual blessing, who is the person that's giving the spiritual blessing? Is it Christ? Because so far we have two people. We have God and we have Christ. So who's giving the spiritual blessing? Is it God or is it Christ? Because we said who was God. So then who is now giving the blessing? God's giving the blessing. Okay. So then maybe what we should do is where we have of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ, we should push that, um, maybe tab it one more time, because that's specifically you're referencing Jesus, but you guys have said everything else is actually, re- it's from God. The source is from God. So with every spiritual blessing, we'll put that also in line with who has blessed us. And then the next preposition someone pointed out was in. So after blessing, we have in. That's the next preposition. So we put that on a new line. Now let me ask, in the heavenly places, is that something new that's being said? Or is that a continuation of, so here you go, yep. Is that a, is that a, continu, is that a subset or a subclause of spiritual blessing? So in the heavenly places, is that something new or is that a subset of in the, the in, uh, with every spiritual blessing? So it's a continuation. So we can keep that there as well. So now let's jump to, actually, maybe, maybe put a, make something, a distinction I forgot to include. The one where it says, who has blessed us, let me ask. So it says, who has blessed us? So when it says, with every spiritual blessing, who is being blessed with every spiritual blessing? Us. us. So we should also tab that so it's under us. So hopefully you guys can see how this is starting to take shape. The, now the who is referenced to God. The us is with every spiritual blessing. In the heavenly places, is that 
for is that in reference to us, God, or Jesus? Hmm? The blessing, but the blessing is for us. So then we know in the heavenly places is also related to us. So we'll push that along under with, so it's also in the same place. So hopefully you guys can start to see how this is starting to take some sort of a shape. I don't know what the, I mean, the shape doesn't necessarily, not necessarily have any you know, huge meaning, but you can see that we're able to take this phrase and be able to associate segments with who they're referring to. Uh, we'll just do a couple more. Um, the next one on the next line, in Christ, even as he chose us, where should we put the um, hit enter again? Break into a new line. After that, the next line, what should we do with the next line here? Where do we break it again? I'll give you guys a hint. It's not just the prepositions. There's also another way you can break it out. There's a semicolon. So I'll say, just break out that semicolon. Put that into a new line. And now let's ask this. Those two phrases, in Christ, who is that in reference to? Is that in Christ in reference to us? To God or to Jesus? Us. Again, so we'll move that over into under us. And then even as he chose us, that's in reference to us. So we'll push that along as well. So the next one says, where do we break, um, break this long sentence? What word should we, should we break next? Where's the next preposition? Preposition. Anybody, the next preposition you see from in him before the foundation of the world? All right, so this one I'll give you a hint. So before, anything you can do to a cloud. So we'll, we'll break it up before. And then um, before the foundation of is another one, so we'll break it up of as well. And then there's a comma, so we'll break the comma as well after world. So let's take these three and then see where they go. So, the last part we have is, even as he chose us. So now, the in him is in reference to who. So, the last thing was, even as he chose us. So, is the in him in reference to us? It's in reference to us. So now we're going to put that, but what we're going to separate it out is, it's, it's, the, it's the second time we're seeing us. So, there was blessed us and chose us. So now, because this is now a new set of language related to the fact that he chose us, we're going to tab it, but we're not going to tab it at the same level of the previous us. We're going to tab it based on the new us that we've just been given. So let's hit tab and go all that way. And then before the foundation of the, of the, of the world, is that something new he's saying, or is that a continuation of the fact that he chose us in him before the foundation of the world? Continuation. So we push both of those two lines, um, the same under uh, in him and under, yeah, the same, li the same uh, line is in him. Great. So there's an example. Oh, question, please ask. So I'm confused. The in him. Yes. Would it not have in reference to in Christ? Uh-huh. In him, why it's not under, in Christ. So, Great. I, I understand yes. why it's, like, it relates to cho chose us and in him. I get that. But then isn't the in him technically in Christ? Yes, you're right. It is in Christ. And you'll see how that comes out. The only reason why we separated it new, we, we didn't keep it in the same column as in Christ here, is because we realize there's going to be more text related to the facts that he chose us. So there's going to be more things about in him. Like notice there's an in him here, there's an in Christ here. So they're both in, in, in him. They're both saying the same thing. But this in Christ is because he blessed us. This in him is because he chose us. So I'm using the, the fact that it's an us that's been referenced to then say, oh, there are things that are happening to us. And we mentioned there are going to be other us. So what we start to see is that this us, there are certain subcomponents that are happening related to this us, and they're repeated in terms of they're about Christ. So you're already starting to pick up some of the tools. Oh, you're already starting to pick up some of the patterns. So thank you for highlighting that. 
Um, any questions before we do one or two more? No? Okay. So you guys are, are, are great. You're good using this tool. You can keep on going. Okay. All right. Excellent. So, um, so I think we can now jump on to the next tool, Wenjiro. And so thank you, everybody, um, for participating in that. Um, again, just keep on plugging through this. I know it, it feels challenging at first, but once you keep doing this over and over again, it becomes a lot simpler. Mm -hmm.